So we go from a story with professional paranormal people to Joe and I here checking out the Willard Library. And the gray lady is supposedly the, the person that haunts this library. And there's a, a few different stories, but there's one that's very prevalent. Tell us about that. The gray lady is rumored to be Louise Carpenter. Mm -hmm. And here she is in this um, portrait here. She was Willard Carpenter's daughter, however, she was the black sheep of the family. Her husband had gambling debt and divorced her, which back in that time was the kiss of death. So she actually went to her father and asked for money, and he refused her. After his death, she thought in her inheritance she could use the money to pay the debt, and she was actually given nothing. None of the children were. So in her bitterness, she sued the library and lost the lawsuit and ended up dying penniless. And so that is why people think in her anger and wrath that she haunts the library today. She is more mischievous presence. She moves furniture around or people feel a cold grip on their shoulder or a presence behind them if they're on the elevator. Just a naughty presence. That is really cool. And I'm so excited to see some of the other places that there have been hauntings supposedly happening as we continue our tour in the legend of the Grey Lady. In the meantime, we're going to go to a story about another legend that happened uh, not too far from here, southern Indiana in Terre Haute.